Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today, Riot and I here are going to discuss with you guys what it is we're doing right now with the uh, nine week old Belgian Malinois puppy that I just brought home. Her name is Storm. And um, I figured what I would do is just kind of show you guys what you can expect when you bring home your new Belgian Malinois puppy and what things you can be doing right from the beginning to start that training. So I'm gonna show you how I work on the fundamentals with my puppy. And by fundamentals, I mean things like sit, uh, down, place, heel, uh, recall, all those fundamentals are really important to start working on right away. And eight weeks old is not too young to start. So let me show you guys what it is I do. And um, if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to drop a comment below. As always, make sure you hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, because as Storm progresses in her training, I am going to be sharing that journey with you guys. One thing that I wanted to do um, when I started chronicling this journey with Storm is be very, very transparent as far as what it actually takes to raise a Malinois puppy. I feel like there's a lot of videos out there that show these really amazing, trained, polished videos of Malinois, um, even as puppies, you know, performing commands flawlessly. And um, that is really just not helpful in the sense of arming people with information that is going to aid in their success. Because what we need to see and what we need to know and understand from one another is um, what it's really like. And what it's really like is frustrating. Um, it's challenging. It is time consuming. Um, it's, not, it's not for the faint of heart. Raising a Malinois puppy is really involved. It's not, it's not like raising you know, uh, a poodle or a Yorkie. It's, it's just a completely different, different thing altogether. And so um, I'm gonna share with you guys what it is that I do. So since she is nine weeks old, like I said, right now we're working on fundamentals. So I'm going to show you guys um, what it is I'm doing with her right now and hope that you guys find, um, find it educational and helpful. And if you have any questions, go ahead, leave it in the comments, but let's get started. Hey guys, so here is Storm. She is nine weeks old at this point. And um, I figured I would take just a quick second before we get started with our session today to talk to you guys about recall. Um, recall is really important and it's definitely something that you need to start working on right away with your puppy. Um, definitely, you know, you need to be working on name recognition. Um, but at this point, since she doesn't know her name, one great thing to be doing in, uh, in working on your recall is just making sound, whatever you can do to get her to come to you. If that's shaking a treat bag, making funky noises, uh, my favorite is, is I always go bup, 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 like that to her. Um, and that really gets her excited and brings her right to me. And um, when you're working on recall, right now at this stage, you know, nine weeks old, don't use the command right now. Don't say come or come here or let's go or anything like that just yet because she doesn't know those commands just yet. And so um, you cannot consistently predict that she's going to uh, come back to respond to come and let's go. And every time that she doesn't, you're teaching her it's okay to ignore the command come. So right now, just stick to noises, stick to using her name to help with recognition and um, make sure, you know, what I personally do is I have little stashes of Ziploc bags full of kibble and treats around the house. I have some at the front door. I have some on my kitchen counter. I've got some on my dresser in my bedroom. Um, I even have a bag in my laundry room. And basically what I do is if I'm in the house doing whatever, and I notice that Storm is not by my side, which actually isn't very often because she's a little shadow to me, um, but if I notice she's not there, that's a great opportunity for me to take just a second, grab one of my treats because it's convenient. I don't have to go looking for one. I'll grab one of my treats and I'll make that sound. Pop, 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 storm, storm, pop, 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 pop. And she'll come to me. And the second that she does, I pay her with um, a treat or a toy and I'll play a little game of tug. And I make it a really big deal. I get really excited. 
um, and let her know, you know, that it was such an amazing thing that she came to me. And, you know, it's, it's not, it doesn't look like, you know, pop, 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 come here. And then she comes and then it's good puppy and done. You have to make it such a high reward thing. You have to really get excited. You have to have high value rewards or a game of tug or a toy that she really likes to make sure that you are paying her with a high reward and lots of praise every time she comes to you. <clears throat> um, because that is going to teach her that no matter what she's doing, okay, she could be over here messing with the cat or maybe she's chewing on the leg to my table or something, right? And that's something that's really, really interesting to her. She doesn't wanna stop doing that. So the only way she's gonna stop doing that is if you teach your dog that coming to me is the best thing ever. There's literally nothing better than when I call her name because she's gonna get a high value reward or treat or a game of tug or lots of praise and cuddles, whatever it might be. And so that teaches your dog that whatever they're doing, no matter how interesting it is to them, they will stop what they're doing to come to you because you are the ultimate reward. So that's what you're teaching them at this young age. So just make sure that you guys are working on recall all around the house, all the time, all throughout the day, many, many times a day. This is really, really simple. I don't want you to feel overwhelmed because it's really not complicated at all as long as you think about it like this. Consider your hands moving targets, right? and you've got your food or your kibble, your treat, your reward, whatever it is, in your hand, which basically keeps the dog's nose here. So wherever your hand goes, right, is where the dog is going to go. So this is all about luring and manipulation to get your dog into different positions, into different commands, which begin that muscle memory. So um, it's that easy. Just think of these as targets. And uh, let me show you here what I mean. Let's see if I can get her interested. Storm, give me. Oh, there's a good girl. See? Good. So here's my target, right? Just whip around, put her into a nice little heel, okay? So just think of your hands as targets. So a few of the really simple ones that you can be working on with your brand new puppy are sit, right? And you wanna bring your puppy in nice and close, okay? You almost want your puppy's paws to be touching the front of your feet. You want her nice and close in here because this is what a nice front looks like, okay? And then you're gonna want to practice putting her in position into that heel. So you're just gonna lure her into a nice heel with your moving target fingers. It's very, very simple. Bring her back around, get her nice and close. Don't forget, you're not always gonna be healing here on the left. You wanna heal on the right as well, okay? So practice both sides and practice the front. Okay, so left side, right side, front, it's that simple. You can also practice things like down, okay? How easy is that? You're just manipulating and luring her body with the reward, okay? Keep in mind that when you are teaching your puppy down, to reward on the ground, okay? Make sure you're rewarding on the ground because if not, okay, and you put your puppy into a down, but then you reward her up here, you're teaching her nothing. <laughs> she's, not, she's not gonna understand what you mean by down, okay? So make sure that when you ask for the down, the reward is given on the ground, okay? Another nice and simple fundamental that you can work on is touch. So put your hand here, touch. The second that she touches with her nose is reward. Touch. Yes. Touch. to wait her out yes okay and that's okay you can wait your puppy out give them time to figure out what you want okay. it 
some nice spins. Good girl. Start taking steps forward, okay? You can lure your puppy to a between position by bringing your hand around, switch targeting hands, and bring her right in between. Okay, and this just takes a little practice, just trying to understand, you know, how to, to manipulate the target. It just takes a little practice, but it's really not complicated at all. So here, I'm gonna try to give her a heel from the front without bringing her all the way around. I'm just gonna try to kind of bring her in and, and try to get her to whip her back end around. Here. Now see, she's not quite understanding what I want. So I'm just gonna reset, okay? Reset, no big deal, all right? I'm gonna try to bring her back, but then I'm gonna, there we go. Try to get her to use her back end a little more. That was very nice. Cool. So, if you find that you're getting frustrated and your puppy's not doing exactly what it is that you're trying to lure her into doing, just reset. Just let it go, reset, and start back from the front position and then try again. Eventually, eventually you're not going to have to use quite so much body language and you can start to kind of back off from all the help that you're giving and just kind of let them see if they can figure it out without quite so much body language, without quite so much help on your behalf. Um, because it's really key to kind of walk that line and stay in that threshold. Because if you're not in that threshold, your puppy's not really learning. Here. So I'll show you what I mean. When I first began teaching down a week ago, right, I had to really bring my hand in like this and really give her a lot of help to manipulate her body into a down, okay? But now I can use less body language. I don't have to bring my hand all the way to the floor every time, all right? So like this, down, good girl, okay? See how she's needing less and less of my help? Good. Good. So I'll show you again. I'm not I'm not having to take my hand all the way down to the ground anymore. Down. Good girl. Okay, so try to stay in that threshold of helping them just enough, right? So that they can try to understand for themselves and work it out for themselves what you're asking them for. Um, because that's, that's the threshold that you want to stay in so that you can really progress and ramp up their learning. Otherwise, if you're just giving them so much help, um, they're, they're really not going to learn as fast. So one thing I'm going to do here for you guys is um, I have not taught Storm or introduced place to her yet. And so I figured that doing that during this video for the first time would give you guys um, just kind of a peek into what it's really like. I don't know if she's gonna pick up on it right away. I don't know if it's gonna be really difficult and frustrating for us both to get her 
onto the mat. I haven't even yet asked her to touch anything with her feet or brought her onto surfaces or, or anything at all. It'll be completely brand new and foreign to her. Um, so she might take right to it and, and nail it and that'd be great. And she might not, and I don't really know what's gonna happen, but I did want to wait for this video to um, be able to show you guys how I'm going to do this for the first time and just share it with you however however it goes. I'm just gonna let it, let it be on YouTube um, so you guys can see what it's like to really work through it. So let me grab her placement. Okay, so to get her onto the mat, I'm going to step forward with the same foot that she's on the side of me. Here, boop, boop, boop. good girl, good girl. Okay, so I'm gonna step forward with this foot, lure her onto the mat, and bring her into a down. Perfect. Look at that. It went great. That's awesome. Um, this is why I love Malinois. They're so smart. They're so easy to work with. It's just such a, a joy to work with them because they're so smart. Um, here, break. Good girl. He's a good mama. Yes, it is. Look at that. She's going to offer it. Yeah. Okay. So let me show you again on this side. So if my puppy is on this side of me, then I'm going to step forward with this foot, lure her onto the mat. Okay, and put her into it down. Perfect. All right, so the place command is several commands. It's, it's several things I'm asking for in one, right? Because place doesn't mean come touch the mat, okay? It doesn't come, it mean come put your feet on it or come stand on it. The place command means come to this bed and lay down. So the down on the mat is part of the, of the command place. So that's what I'm going to um, be asking for once she gets on here. So it's not enough that she stepped onto the mat. She also has to give me a down. <coughs> good girl, good girl. So this time I'm not going to uh, give her so much help because I feel like she's already kind of understanding that she gets a reward on the mat. So I'm just going to step forward. See if she can just work it out. I'm just testing her to see. I'll give her a little cue so I'll bend down. Nope, she doesn't understand. So, let me bring her back onto the mat. Okay. Good girl! Yay! Good girl! See, so not much of a cue because she already knows down. She knows when I'm getting ready to come in like this or when I'm coming in like this. She knows already because I've been working with her for about seven days. That, that means go down. Okay? Break. Oh, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. Yes, it is. Okay? So let's do it again. Place. Good girl. There it is. Good girl. Yes, and break. Break. Good. Good girl. long that was. It's not very long. Oh, no, I want to get back on here. But um, but that's it. You, you don't want to spend a whole lot of time. Like I said, keep these sessions nice and short. Keep them fun. You know, this is a puppy. Have fun with her. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm really encouraged that that went so well. That was great to see that she took right to that. Um, and I'm happy that I was able to share, you know, a positive experience. I really didn't know how that was going to go. Um, I didn't know if she was going to give me trouble getting her up onto the mat or not. She didn't. She, she jumped right on. That was great. So, um, so I'm really happy with that. I'm glad that that was how that went down. Um, but I'm going to try to continue to do that. I'm going to save um, introducing some things to her just for these videos so that I can give you guys that raw, unpolished, you know, frustrated, uh, how do I do this? How do I work through this? Um, how do I make these adjustments on the fly? Uh, I wanna be able to share those things with you guys. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep um, introducing new things to her every now and then on these videos and save it just for you guys to watch the unedited real version of me introducing something for the first time. And I hope that that brings some value. Like I hope that that helps people you know, understand that it's okay to get discouraged. Hey, she's bumping the camera. But it's okay to get discouraged and frustrated and, and you just work through it with your puppy and that it's really worth it in the end. So, um, 
thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you have questions, put it down in the comments, hit the subscribe button, hit the notify button, and we will see you next time.